and hello guys and girls welcome back to the hideout no gk um it's fernando bigo back there for you week two game of the hdc the hideout draft cup and uh in for the um second game we were facing uh, aiden and uh, i don't remember the name of your team i'm sorry uh i will just easily like get it in a moment uh aiden you had one lead yeah okay aiden uh we were facing aiden in the chicago grand bolts and they draft were composed by Manaphis, Colipid, Miguel Toya, Celebi, Blaze Blaziken, Bishharp, Swampert, Mismatches, and uh, okay, uh, Swampert, Mismatches, and Tantak Rule. Uh, basically, I was very afraid of that matchup because, uh, first of all, like I hate facing Patan Pass on the ladder. Uh, first of all, like you know that. Ban pass team that threads uh, all the or oh, made a game with uh, Zorkutri, Manafi, uh, Drill, uh, Magirna too, I guess, and like obviously it's that monkey here, call it bit, which is a huge threat for me. Uh, <clears throat> I decided to just go with the game uh, and not do a team building episode because I'm not like on my set up right here so I can't do like so because I didn't face with my team I, I don't have like the exact team uh, I will uh, remember maybe what oh, <laughs> just people around yeah uh, so basically I will go over my team with what I remember if I remember correctly my tornadoes was uh, near max speed, I guess, because uh, just enough speed to outspeed the mismatch, uh, mismatches, I guess. Uh, then uh, after with the uh, uh, the max attack special and the rest into uh, HP or speed F, I get all defense, I guess. Can't remember well. Um, with a taunt to prevent anything from happening, to prevent like any setup from that mall, uh, from uh, a potential take of Manafi, uh, shuts down uh, Celebi and doesn't let Megal Tire set up. Uh, hurricane, uh, I guess, Hurricane Taunt. Uh, Maybe Sludge Wave, I remember Sludge Wave for the Mega Altaria and then uh, Rain Dance. Uh, Reiku, which was uh, a Salt Vest or. Uh, no, I guess it was E Belt Reiku with uh, Thunderbolt, HP Ice, Shadow Ball, and. Uh, do I had HP. No, I, I, I guess I had HP Grass instead. Uh, Shadow Ball and uh, maybe Volt Switch. Volt Switch to Bolt HP Grass Shadow Ball, I guess. I, I can't remember. I think it was that. Uh, we'll see uh, through the game happening after. Uh, just is that uh, for now. Uh, then after we have Klefki. Uh, Prankster Klefki with uh, um, Thunder Wave, Spikes, Magnet Rise, and Psychic, uh, which doesn't let the. Uh, Squally uh, Pit set up a sub on me, uh, basically, uh, for Reiku, like, max uh, max speed, like, just enough speed to outspeed Squally Pit, uh, then max special attack and the rest into uh, speed up, I guess, to better take on Manafi. Uh, Klefki was fully specially defensive for potential special Miguel Toya, for uh, Manafi, for Miss Majors, I guess, too. Uh, yeah, and uh, Tank uh, scored better. Uh, then we had Sirena to prevent uh, Hazard Stock with the uh, Rapid Spin. Uh, we have 
dropkick, I guess, and then after. Uh, okay. Uh, we have uh, rapid spin, dropkick. Uh, I can't remember. I, I guess I had a uh, aromatherapy, but I'm not sure uh, exactly if I was uh, aromatherapy. Uh, probably U turn and. Uh, uh, one of the moves. No, I was okay. No, I remember. I was uh, ra uh, spin U turn, uh, drop kick, play rock with enough speed to outspeed uh, out uh, uh, eight EVs in speed Megal Toya. So basically, zero speed Megal Toya uh, to play rock it. Uh, then again, it was uh, max HP in the rest it, into defense to take heads better from the. Uh, Altoya if it was physical uh, from the uh, Swamper too, I guess could be a bit annoying. Uh, then after we have got Trump first game for Sandy Shark, the mascot of the Paris got Trump here uh, with uh, I guess uh, uh, choice call, uh, uh, a choice call set I guess with EQ P jab. Uh, EQ, Pidgeab, Outwitch, and uh, I guess Firefang, something like that. Uh, for the Scolipids, the Celebi, I guess. Even if, uh, even though I had Pidgeab, I, I can't remember my fourth move. I, I remember I was Scarf, for sure. Uh, max Speed, Max, uh, max Attack, um, Jolly, because we want to speed. Uh, Almost everything. I guess I had to be jolly, uh, or I just have some speed to. Uh, I guess only for the uh, Ma uh, Manaphy and Celebi, the only two things, like the fastest things I could uh, outspeed because uh, I don't outspeed after the Scolipid and the, the Mismatches, I don't outspeed so. Yeah, and then we have a bit of um, special defensive Mega Swamper, uh, enough to tank one energy ball from Manathy, max HP, the rest into attack to uh, hit a bit hard because one ten uh, base dead in attack is not something to mess around. Uh, then uh, with uh, Stealth Rock, Wet Rest, Roar, and EQ. Uh, really, 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 really weird set. I agree, but that's what you're saying. okay. Uh, so yeah, basically that thing was designed to counter calm on Manaphy and maybe a title Manaphy because I can't take a hit at full three. So basically, yeah. Uh, so. Let's start the game. So, Scarlet Pit lead against my Clefty lead, I guess. Uh, yeah, Clefty lead. Uh, I was just like, okay, I don't want anything to be a problem. I just uh, set up the spikes here uh, to threaten here because I can potentially uh, threaten her out with the T Wave. Uh, he goes for Star Frog as I go for Magnet Rise. Really, really bold to play. I just go with the second layer spike. Spikes to threaten and uh, force the Danta Cruel to come uh, and spin. I, I paralyze it. Uh, he managed to spin, but not bother because I can just like set the specs all around. Uh, he just like set a toxic spice thing that I don't like. So I just go for psychic doing like absolutely zero because I'm not like invested in uh, the full attack. <laughs> Uh, so he just basically can spin all around me every time. Uh, so yeah, I just decide to go to my uh, Stevia here to be able to spin the hazard away uh, on the tool. Uh, I get toxic, so I can't get burned, which is really really nice. Scarlet Pit comes out on the spin. I was pretty afraid of that, but I couldn't uh, uh, have hazard on my side because hazard is very hard, very very. very and annoying for me to deal. So I decided here to go directly in my Wind Waker, which is my dedicated counter to that thing, like just to taunt and prevent like uh, this thing to set up and to bat and pass, speed and sub to something. So I reveal the taunt here uh, and he goes for the bat and pass. 
as far as like I, I just referred to taunt so I didn't call I, I just go for hurricane meaning like okay either he's gonna switch out or either it's gonna stay so yeah I had here like with the mana feed to go in my uh, aggro uh, my uh, mega thrumper mega evolve and go direct left of the war uh, he gets a crit on his call unfortunately uh, but uh, that doesn't matter because I have rest so I will go for the stealth proc here because I get the Tanta Cruel on the switch in so I can threaten that thing with the Niku. But I reveal to be more of a defensive set. So yeah, he set up rock with his uh, Swampert. I just I can just go into Mastavia to spin, but he makes a really really good double in Celebi, I guess. But it's not like a bother for me because I have I've got Udrum, which is gonna do a huge amount of that thing. Uh, the Tantra Quill is going to come out on my spin, but I don't really know why uh, he's got, like, he went on my spin. Yeah, I decided then to go back, to go on my Raikou to put the pressure now uh, on a potential Rapid Spin or a potential Pyrolysis. That doesn't come, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I go to Stevia here, uh, anticipating, like, the double switch to Swamper to the uh, potential Electric Attack. Then I have got the pressure, the momentum, so I can go for the U. I go for the drop kick here. Uh, because, yeah, I remember because basically, if he wanted to go to Scarlet Pit, uh, he had that uh, attack drop. He will be passing uh, to if he decides to baton pass. So here is uh, one. Uh, the turn that, like, pretty much almost cost me the game because. I was expecting a sub 100% because I countered that thing with my Tsarina and he decided to go for the speed jab, he crit me and he poisoned me which means that I mean the crit like that I guess a matter the poison might matter more because now he just he can just go up for the for the protect and uh, putting me in range of my life orb or the nexus of poison so I decided to taunt to prevent anything before dying yeah, anyway, I died here, so I taunt. And, uh... I can go now to just threaten that thing with the Thunder Rave and set up... Uh, again, like, um... No, I double switch into my Blue Lagoon, trying to burn a, a, a sleep turn because I'm still asleep and I don't have a... a um, aromatherapy on my, uh... Serena. I will... Uh, and uh, he's now on his Celebi. Uh, I decided to go into my cheese, and he revealed to be a nasty blood Celebi. Huge threat to me. Uh, I decided uh, not nonetheless to just set up his spikes here. Uh, I just got a G wave. Uh, he psychic me, which does uh, over half, which is detrimental. Uh, I just go for spikes again because I, I paralyzed it, so I can. I was kind of hopping off. Uh, a para and uh, my only offensive move is the uh, psychic which doesn't anything to Celebi uh, I guess uh, uh, if I remember it was uh, left over Celebi but here a huge turn happened because I get crit on Celebi but uh, I, I guess it matter in the sense that I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have like probably one shot it so yeah I decided here to go in my uh, blue leg in my uh, second insert to it because I've got roar to roll that thing out I roar anything anything how she decided to go for the uh, uh, that BP here I don't know why but that's a very good play I am forced to stay and he get a third uh, second crit on the school and now like with hazards up I can just and uh, I can just like roar him out and whatnot so here basically it's not like she didn't make a vault but it doesn't really matter because to return with a pixel it would have been able to uh, kill me I guess so here I'm basically forced to be uh, to go to that thing like uh, uh, hoping he wasn't like a uh, speed invested but he was so I decided uh, like basically I have only one play is like to spam the shadow ball uh, and I get a crit and a speed I've dropped here uh, as far as he 
uh, Reveal being a Dragon Death Variant, which is not a problem for me, uh, in the sense that she, do, she just had one DD, uh, she, did, she did only set up one DD here, and I got like, okay, basically I'm not, basically here at that earn, I am in pretty bad spot, I am 1 versus 5, but with Hazard's up, she doesn't have anything that can take two attack of catch up and uh, here it was a roll with EQ to kill. I don't get the, I don't uh, don't get it, uh, the kill, but with uh, EQ and I basically lost four all. Uh, I mean, I was I had like the momentum in there and uh, in that game, and I was like pretty disappointed of the uh, poison on Thunder that totally decided the game for me because. He stole me out uh, with protect and kill my thunder, so I could have uh, kept it for. Uh, I could, uh, yeah, I could have kept it for. Make the mega toy in the back, uh, putting the pressure on Swampert with uh, potential grass knoll, uh whatnot. But yeah, we we lose that game, fortunately. So we own two in that game, and that pretty much meant that we won't go to playoffs. Uh, I am. I am very sad about that, but what could you do? So, it was Fernando Bigo for you uh, and uh, your first call from the, the, in that HTC. I will leave you here. Take care. Bye bye.